It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong. What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karita, if you are new. For today's video, we are going to just be doing a relaxing, super duper realistic nighttime clean with me because this is typically my nightly routine. Um, some nights the kids will clean up the toys, some nights I'll just send them straight to bed. So I wanted to bring you guys along as I clean up for the night and just get my house, well my downstairs area, back in order. But before we get into this video, I would love for you to subscribe if you enjoy all things mom life, cleaning content, cleaning motivation, homemaking, all that good stuff. Please subscribe before we get any further into the video. Also give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel so, so much. So to get started, I am just picking up all of the balls and the balls have definitely kind of gone down a bit because Kaden is biting them and then a lot of them got like smushed or just broken over Thanksgiving break so it's not as many balls so I was thankful for that but Kaden has been exploring climbing on stuff and picking up stuff so he's been picking up the ball pit and dumping all the balls out because he thinks it's funny so pretty much every single day the balls are all over the house so I'm starting off by picking up that and then I'm gonna put his food truck back together and then I'm going to go ahead and vacuum. Normally I would vacuum all at once, but I am trying to teach myself to kind of do it all as I go. So instead of vacuuming this whole downstairs area, I'm gonna vacuum the living room area and then I'll vacuum the kitchen area once I get the kitchen cleaned. Lying like a right, but take your stuff back. Baby, it's you. the time then I would change the day so I never saw your face vacuumed and picked up I'll mop in there at the end of the night but I wanted to show you guys an overview of the kitchen um, the kitchen was just a mess per usual sink was full of dishes which kind of caught me by surprise because this particular night Kelsey begged and begged for KFC so I took her to KFC to get a bucket of chicken because she loves the YouTube channel Lanky Box and Lanky Box is always talking about a bucket of chicken and KFC so she's been wanting to go to KFC and get a bucket of chicken so that's what we had for dinner this night we had KFC and I need to go ahead and get everything put away and then wipe down these surfaces clean the dishes all that good stuff so how are you guys doing i know we are just one week away from christmas and i would love to know down below how are you guys doing have you finished christmas shopping do you christmas shop or do you just kind of order it all online this year i did a mix of both i ordered some stuff online and then i shopped in store for a few things um I just really didn't get into the holiday spirit this year. I'll talk more about that later in the video. But yeah, let me know down below. Are you done Christmas shopping? Are you excited for Christmas? I'm excited to go home. So that is pretty much what's getting me through these last few days is that I'll get to go home and kind of relax. Yeah, 
There's something about the way you looked at me And it's hard to explain it But thinking about you makes me crazy All the things you did to me You showed me what it's like to fall in love Only you could set me free we are moving on to loading up this dishwasher. It really wasn't much inside the dishwasher. I hand washed the dishes the night before. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and load up the dishwasher and move into wiping down the countertops. And my microwave was just a mess. The girls love popcorn when we watch movies. So um, the popcorn bag had kind of like buzzed with butter everywhere. So I needed to clean out the microwave and just get the kitchen back in order. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, I feel like this year of course is flown by but for whatever reason I just didn't have like the best few weeks so I haven't really gotten into the holiday spirit I've only watched the Grinch twice and usually by now I would have watched the Grinch at least 10 times because I try to only watch it during the holiday season but I just have not really gotten into the mood I feel like I've been just super stressed and busy with just mom life and life in general, trying to balance YouTube and then my business. It's just a mess. So if you are new here, uh, my name is Karita. I'm a military wife. My husband is in the army and we have three kids. My oldest daughter is nine. Then we have a five-year-old daughter and a one-year-old son. And just lately for me, just living the military life has just become so taxing. Like my son is one and he's going through a phase where he just wants to be up underneath me. He's not taking his afternoon nap. His morning nap has kind of been pushed to later. Like he used to go down around 10. Now some days it's 11, 12 o'clock before he goes down, but he's cranky. So it's just been a lot plus dealing with him being sick and then all that type of stuff has just had me pretty much stressed since the beginning of November. I just feel like I haven't been able to get as much stuff as I wanted to get done done. I haven't been on top of things like I'm a huge, huge planner. I love to write in my planner and just kind of plan out my day so that I don't forget about anything. And there have been like several things that have kind of just snuck up on me just for lack of better planning. So I'm just kind of ready for this year to go ahead and close out so that I can start fresh next year get back on my routine and just kind of get back organized and back in order um i just i just been feeling it a lot lately as a mom of three definitely especially because um now that kaden is busy as a one and a half year old well he's 18 months it's just like my days just seem so much shorter i don't feel like i get as much done and yeah so now I'm going to wipe down the kitchen table and then I'm going to wipe down the countertops and clean out the microwave as I said before and then we'll be back to vacuum and mop in here. Somehow 
So we are about halfway through the video. If you are enjoying it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Like this video, subscribe if you have not already. If you are cleaning along with me, we are about halfway done. So keep going, girl. We can get through this together. I know personally, once my house is picked up and clean, I just feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulders. That there's one less thing that I have to do or have to remember to do. So keep going, girl. We can finish this out together. And if you are going to be doing more cleaning, I'll have my cleaning playlist linked down below so that you can keep right on being motivated while you clean and I can join you. Stop caring about it Don't let your head get in the way Can't be defined by your mistakes You know you try and you try really hard But sometimes you fall Yeah, sometimes you fall When we first moved into this house almost two years ago, which is crazy because it seems like time is just flying on by, but this is a new build. And when we first moved into this house, these countertops gave me the hardest time because for whatever reason, they decided not to seal them um, the way that they used to because I went to Home Depot and I talked to the builder and they were just kind of both saying the same thing that like they don't seal countertops the same anymore and that you're supposed to use a specific type of cleaner and so for a while I was only using, I think it's called Wyman's or Weeman's um, granite and marble cleaner, but that stuff is just, it, it requires a lot of elbow grease to buff it in and then buff it out so that it's not really slippery. But now that it's been almost two years, I feel like the countertops are pretty much as sealed as they're gonna be. If I have standing water, I don't get water spots as much anymore. But when we first moved into this house, if you set a cup of water on the countertop or anything with oil like olive oil or anything on the countertops it would leave a ring and so several times I had to like really use some elbow grease to kind of get those rings out but I would love to know down below are your countertops sealed if you are in a new build or do you use a specific cleaner to keep your countertops looking clean and brand new I know quartz granite and marble are all very different but they all are very very high maintenance so when we move if we decide to move and build again I'm going to be doing a lot of research on the best type of countertops for kitchens because I just don't feel like it was really realistic um, as far as the upkeep and the longevity to have to constantly use um, a sealer to make sure that the countertops you know didn't stain but now moving on to vacuuming and y'all can see my floors were just a mess there were crumbs everywhere there's food on the floor like literal like pieces of food so I had to pick that stuff up first but now that I'm vacuuming I feel a lot better when I start to vacuum vacuuming for whatever reason just really does calm me down and I feel like I'm pretty much almost done cleaning once I start vacuuming Truth is, I'm scared cause when I see you coming All I wanna do is tell you that I love you I know you're better off without me cause your tears stain I make it dark out when you're around me Like a needle lost in the sand The ink dried in my hand It's unthinkable Like a bird that never learned to fly we are almost done you guys i'm going to go ahead and use my steam mop on these floors because they were terribly sticky and just disgusting with footprints and food um the blue tape on my floors is because um we were getting some repairs done yet again i know i have at least probably like eight videos that i have blue tape on the floor and they come they fix the flooring and then we have another issue so yeah it's it's been kind of like a back and forth whirlwind with um our builder and getting these floors right for whatever reason we just have a lot of like floor popping and i'm the type of person that i paid for it i want you to fix it it's in warranty so i keep having them come out to repair it 
but I'm really getting frustrated about it because again like it seems like about once a quarter they come to fix these floors and it's just not fun but I am using my steam mop and I don't know if I've ever said it before but I do put a few drops of essential oil on top of the steam mop just to kind of give it a smell. I know most people like to smell something fresh and clean when they're cleaning. And since you can't put any solution into the steam mop other than water, I decided to just put some essential oil onto the steam mop pad. That way I can kind of get that fresh clean scent going throughout the house, kind of like what you would if you put a little bit of Fabuloso or Pine Sol into your mop water. Do you think about me? Are you thinking about me? Do you think about me? Are you thinking about me? Do you think about me? She'll be able to win this one But she's somebody else in the making First, she's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like this whenever she leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is the some place I am all done cleaning. Thank you so much for sticking with me. If you cleaned along with me, you got it, girl. Keep on going. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have not subscribed already, please be sure to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you guys have an amazing holiday season and stay safe.